Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today there's been a huge new FL Studio update, which is a free update. It comes with your lifetime free updates if you bought the software, and it's FL Studio 20.5. It comes with a host of new updates, but mainly Flex is finally here for everyone that's been asking. I made a video about Flex about a month ago and it's finally released in the official version, which is this fantastic new synthesizer or rompler. It's like a preset synthesizer, sort of similar to Nexus, but with a lot of really, really nice sounds. So you can load it from your channel rack, just plus icon, load it, Flex, right there. I also quickly want to add that Flex is available for all FL Studio users from the Fruity Edition and up, so it's, it's available to all levels. And the idea behind this synthesizer is that it's just loaded full of sounds that are ready to go right away. Lots of professional packs and presets that all just sound pretty good right away. I have a full video detailing every single parameter and lots and lots of the different sounds available in Flex, so if you want to see that video, check it in the description or in the link just up here at the top of the video. that gives you a small flavor of what it's capable of, but it, it really does go so much deeper than that. So please do check out that video just after this one. Now let's take a look at some of the other updates in FL Studio 20.5. Something that I've been waiting for for so long in FL Studio is a CPU resource monitor that's more accurate than this one at the top. And they've finally done it. So if you go to view at the top left, plugin performance monitor, and then you can uh, uh, set it by peak or by time, and you can see which plugins are taxing your computer the most. So you can see at the top, I've got co some contact instruments, Serum, and I can see, you know, the FL Studio stock stuff's barely using the CPU at all. And I can also see all the plugins that I have in my session, just to kind of get a feel for how much is actually there. Uh, this window is completely resizable, and you can also freeze the window so that you can look at specific values uh, in more detail. I'm really happy that the team at ImageLine has finally done that, so well done to everyone over there. I know that these updates are a lot of effort, a lot of time, and we're really, really thankful that uh, they put all the time into these updates. A few other updates onto the Options tab, General Settings. There's a couple of things here. One is that you can set your default template now from within here, which is a lot more simple than, than the old way. This is more transparent. So you simply click down and you choose which template you want FL Studio to load with every single time. So I have my In The Mix production template. If you want to see a video about how to make a template and also to download my template, I'll link that video in the description as well because I know loads of people keep asking if they can have the template that I use. If I now jump from the General tab to the File tab, They've also increased the maximum number of backups you can have. So I guess this goes to 999 now, whereas I think it used to maybe just be 100 or I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but they've increased the number of backups. Can't complain about that. Another really nice update is the Fruity Blood Overdrive plugin. They've sort of revamped uh, the graphical user interface. So if you load Fruity Blood Overdrive, this is now what it looks like, which just looks so much better than it used to look. I don't know if you can remember the old uh, skin, and this is capable of so many sorts of sounds. So I'm just gonna sort of crush up a drum bus uh, really quickly just to show you what it's capable of. So you can see that you can get some really nice uh, sort of distortion and compression tones out of that plugin. But what I really like is this trend that I've seen from ImageLine of updating the interface of the plugins and the software in general. So if you right click, you can access different themes. So there's this red theme that looks almost like, you know, some focus right gear or something. You've got different modes like this. I see that they're doing this more and more often, giving users different options for skins or uh, themes for plugins. And I think, I think that's going in a really good direction, and I think maybe one day we might have the whole interface being able to have more customization. And I think that's where we all really want it to go. So 
Again, well done on the team for implementing that. And just to round off this video, the Z game editor or visualizer has had a couple of new tools and features added. This is a really powerful plugin. I want to make a tutorial for it very soon. So let me know if you want to see that as well. It really is an amazing plugin, but there's just so much that if I went into it now, this video would just be really, really long. There are a few other smaller updates. I've left all the information in the description. I've written out what all the smaller updates are just for anyone that's curious. But for now, definitely download this update, have a play around with Flex, enjoy the new user interfaces and just have fun with it. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video too. Bye for now.